Hey, good afternoon. This is Casey. Um, today I will be making ketchup. So the first thing I did was I poured one can of tomato paste in the pan. And we're going to turn it on to a light simmer. And then next we're going to add one tablespoon of white vinegar to this. I already have it poured out. Okay. And just keep stirring it while you're mixing all the ingredients together. So that way it gets evenly combined. And the next ingredient we're going to add is two tablespoons of brown sugar. I don't okay, so there's once you just you just keep stirring it after each ingredient just to make sure you get it all mixed in. So the next ingredient we're gonna use is one teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay, and our next ingredient is going to be one pinch of allspice. That's too much. <laughs> you don't have to put that much in it. Okay, and then our next ingredient is going to be sea salt, sea salt to taste but we usually don't prefer sea salt because it already has its natural flavor that we like without it. So our next ingredient is going to be two, table, two teaspoons of molasses. And it's best to pour it over something in case you get too much or in case it overflows. Two. <clears throat> okay, just make sure you keep stirring it so it doesn't burn. <clears throat> and then our next ingredient is going to be one tablespoon of honey. Make sure yours looks like this. And then last, we're going to add one and one-fourth of a cup of water to this. Okay, so here's one cup. And then one-fourth of a cup. Okay, and you might need a bigger pan than this so it doesn't overflow. And then we're just going to let it simmer for, it's going to probably take about 10 minutes to simmer until it starts looking like a ketchup. Okay, so that took a little longer than 10 minutes, but um, this is about as thick as we like it. You can always cook it a little more to make it thicker or a little less to make it thinner. You know, it just depends on how you like your ketchup. And just make sure you store it and put it in a container. You, Maybe you'll eat it right away with your french fries or your chicken fingers, you know, I don't know. 
Um, we like stores in our ketchup container that's labeled ketchup, so that way we don't get confused on what's inside of it. And I hope you enjoy this recipe and use it down the road, and thank you.